inside. And a Europe which had become Christian suddenly lost its Christianity. While Europe was Christian for those centuries, Christian Europe fought a ferocious battle against Riba. <coughs> yeah, Christian Europe against Riba. In fact, one of the best books on Riba ever written was written by a British sheikh. What was his name? Shakespeare, Shakespeare. correct. William Shakespeare, which book? Which book? Merchant of Venice. Merchant of Venice. I will not have the time in this lecture, otherwise you have to give me three hours, to explain to you the brilliance of William Shakespeare in Merchant of Venice. But you'll get it, that analysis is there in my big book on Riba. In Merchant of Venice, you see Christian Europe in its attempt to ensure the prohibition of riba. There is another book, not as famous as William Shakespeare's, but this one is also a classic. Take a note of it, you might want to search for it in the library. The name of the book is Religion and the Rise of Capitalism. I would make this compulsory reading in Darul Ulum. Oh, yes. Religion and the Rise of Capitalism by, by an author whose name is R. W. Tawney, T-A-W-N-E-Y. And in this book, Tawney records the Christian struggle against riba in Europe. But when the French Revolution occurred, the back of the Christian church was broken in Western Europe. And when was it broken in Eastern Europe? Which revolution? Bolshevik, Bolshevik Revolution. How come we're only getting the answers from this corner? <laughs> the Bolshevik Revolution broke the back of the Christian church in Eastern Europe, in Russia. When once the back of the, the Christian church was broken in Europe, the Jews were delighted. The Jews were delighted. Because the Christians had been waging a terrific war against the Jews for centuries in Europe. We will not allow you to lend money on interest. Hmm? And the Jews always wanted to lend money on interest. Why? Because they had changed the Torah. I think I explained this to you. They rewrote the Torah. The Torah that had come down from Allah had prohibited riba. But they changed it and the Torah now says, in as many words, that it is haram for a Jew to lend money on interest to another Jew. Hmm? <laughs> but it is halal, he can lend on interest to those who are not Jews. Go and check it out. Go and check it out in Deuteronomy, in Leviticus. Hmm? Go and check it out. I have all of these quotations in my book for you. So they are the money lenders. They changed the word of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to this in the Quran. <laughs> 